Hi, I'm Nicholas Baspley. Today we're going to be talking about the MIG slash MMA 201 multi-process machine uh, made by Canaweld here in Vaughan, Ontario. Um, this is a great little machine, it weighs in at only 32 pounds, um, so it's light and versatile. So we're going to be unboxing one today. We're going to be taking a look at all the different things that we can do with it, uh, some of the attachments that come along with it, and then later on we're going to do a demo with it and see what, uh, see what we can do with it. Okay, so we're going to begin our unboxing now. The first thing you're going to want to do when you do the unboxing is pull out your manual, your owner's manual. You're going to want to flip directly to the safety section and take a look at some of these safety tips that are included here. Uh, these are going to keep the environment around you safe, they're going to keep the people around you safe, and they're going to keep you safe as the welder from getting burnt or from hurting your eyes with the light. After that, we're going to open up the torch box and we're going to see what it comes with. So first we're going to pull out our ground cable. This is a 10 foot long ground cable with the standard alligator clip. This is great for hooking onto pipe, for corners, for anywhere you might need to. It's nice and stiff and it's got a nice copper connections on the inside so you get lots and lots of uh, current flowing through it. After that, we're going to take a look at our arc welding electrode. This is a 10 foot arc electrode. You can see the wire for it is nice and light, uh, so you can hold it up over your head in many different positions and without uh, your arms getting tired and sagging and things like that. And again, this is the 10 foot long, same as the ground. After that, we have our MIG gun. This is a 25 millimeter cable attached to a 12 foot long uh, MIG gun. And so this is a great little piece of kit and uh, we're going to be getting to hooking it up to the machine shortly. Lastly, it comes with your gas connection cable for hooking up to the CO2 bottle for doing your MIG welding functions. Uh, it'll be threading into the bottle here and using one of these quick connects in the back to hook to the back of the machine, which is nice because you don't need a crescent wrench or pliers and you don't have to worry about stripping down the end of it or anything like that when you're in the field. It's nice and quick, nice and easy and heavy duty and nicely, nicely made. Also included with this package, which is really nice, is a nice high quality regulator. The regulator is going to be controlling the gas flow when you're doing your MIG welding. And you're going to hook that up to the top of your bottle. And you're going to hook this up to this end here. And you're going to be able to use the spindle in the front to control the gas flow for all the different purposes and functions that you may need. Now, let's get to the exciting part and take a look at this machine. So here we have it. See, it's a nice looking machine. We have all of our functions here on the front. So right now, it's set to the MIG welding position. You can follow this yellow arrow, and that's going to be controlling your wire speed with this one, and it's going to be controlling your heat with this one here. Uh, we'll get to the arc function in a minute. So first, let's hook up the MIG uh, accessories, and let's see how that works. So here's our MIG gun, like we talked about. Here's our gas connection, and here's our ground. We're going to need these. First, we're going to hook up our gas connection. So we'll show you where that goes. That quick connect that we mentioned earlier, it's going to hook up right back here. There we go. So now we're set to plug it into a CO2 bottle. We're going to flip it around. And first, we're going to connect our ground. It's the nice keyhole style, so it's going to slide in here under the negative. And once you put it in, you just roll it to the left and it's locked in and ready to go. Really nice, really easy. Next we're going to connect our torch. The torch is the threaded type and that's going to go right down here on the bottom. Once you feel it locked in, you're going to rotate this sleeve. And boom, then we're all set. Now we're ready to MIG weld if we were hooked up to the uh, CO2. So let's take a look at the arc stuff now. We're going to disconnect this. Nice part is we can leave our ground clip because it's universal, it works for both. Next, we're going to talk about the arc welding electrodes. We're going to hook this part in here. It's the keyhole style, like with the ground clip. We put it in there lock it into position. We're going to set the machine, boom, down here, and now we're pointed towards this white arrow, 
And this will be the controls for our arc welding right here. And we don't have to worry about these at all anymore. So it's nice and user friendly and it's really easy to switch from one process to another. Everything's set up so it's very intuitive to use. Okay, so for now we're going to disconnect this, take this off, and we're going to talk about some of the other things that we can do with this uh, in terms of MIG welding. So let's open it up and take a look at the guts. So you can see right here we're set up to accept the standard size spool of mild steel, steel, or aluminum wire. It feeds in through here. Here's your tension adjustment and, uh, and everything that you need to get that set up. Um, once you have your wire fed through here, instead of doing it the old way and feeding it through slowly, you have a push feed button here. And that's going to slowly roll this without giving any current to the wire. So that way you can send it all the way through your cable and out here and get it set just the way you like it um, without having to worry about the wire being hot yet. So once you have that set, you're ready to go. Um, and if you wanted to switch and do some flux cord welding uh, where you're not going to be using CO2 gas or any other backing gas, you can undo this nut here and you can switch the polarity of the machine very easily. Just one nut, move it over here, and you are set to go to do um, the flux core welding uh, without any gas, which is nice because again, that's another adds a bit of versatility to the machine that you don't always find with other machines. Um, you also have control of your, um, your blowback right here. So if you're having issues with your wire not coming out far enough or it's eating up too fast, you just need to open it up and switch it over like that. So maybe you have a lot of welding to do in the day uh, and you don't want to be messing around with these smaller size spools. You can close this here and you can take this attachment and you hook this right into the back of the machine and the wire is going to come through there and this allows you to add the 15 pound wire attachment uh, which means that you can go for quite a bit more time before you have to stop and reset up your machine and rerun the wire and all that kind of stuff. And that's really nice because time saved on the job site is money in your pocket, you know, and time saved as a hobbyist means you're not burning up gas, you're not burning up other consumables. So that can be a really nice feature for you if that's what you're looking for. We also have the option to use a spool gun with this machine. And so we're going to open this back up. And if we wanted to use the spool gun, we're going to take the power away from here by clicking this button over here on the spool gun. And then we carry two different types of spool guns in the 6 and 8 meter variations. These spool guns are really nice, well made. It's a nice heavy duty feel in your hand without being overly heavy. These are set up to take the small reels. Uh, this is great for your flux core, for your aluminum. Um, maybe you need to get some extra length, you need to be up on a ladder or working on scaffolding. And it's nice to just move all the weight up here and to be able to weld on the go. So we're gonna hook that up and we'll show you how easy it is. So there's two places where you hook up the spool gun because it's also, uh, it's gonna need current and it's gonna need power to power the spool gun. We're gonna hook this up here with this attachment here. You're going to grasp it between your thumb and your forefinger and you're going to line up these grooves on the outside in here and you can feel it sink in and then you're just going to adjust this down here to lock it into position. Once you have that locked into position, it's exactly the same as hooking up the standard MIG, MIG torch. I'm going to slide this under here and same thing, you lock it into place, roll it down. And now we're ready, our spool gun is live, it's hot, it's got power, we've set the machine over and it's ready to go. So now we can do some flux core welding with some aluminum and there's a few other things we can do with that as well. Okay, this machine also has a few other capabilities. We can run the standard .08 wire all the way up to the standard 1.0 wire which is really nice. That gives us some flexibility in the thickness of metals that we're going to be working with. But, uh, and we can do that without losing any of our duty cycle or any of our amperage. If we have to go with something a little bit heavier, we can move up to the 1.2 mil wire and that's only going to cause a slight drop in the duty cycle and a slight drop in the amperage, which is nice. So we'll take these off. 
now we're ready to be packed back up and to move this along the job site. Nice and light. Uh, again, like I mentioned, the machine is only 32 pounds, so it's easy to move around. It comes with a variety of attachments, which makes it really, really versatile um, for anybody from light to medium industrial duties. So whether you're working on the farm or you're working in a contracting sort of uh, environment, maybe you just bought this to do artistic things at home in your garage, this gives you a lot of range of jobs that you can do for a very great price. Um, the machine also comes with a three-year warranty, which is nice. Um, you know, you never know. Um, welding machines get through a lot of hard times and they get a lot of abuse put on them. So it's really nice to have that warranty in your back pocket knowing that uh, your machine and your money is going to be protected. The machine is also capable of taking the 0.08 uh, to the 0.10 wire um, and that's at 170 amps with 100% duty cycle, which is really nice. If you do have to step it up to the 1.2 wire, the machine is capable of doing that just by flipping around the wire feeding wheel on the inside and you're only going to experience a slight drop in your duty cycle and a slight drop in the overall amperage, amperage which is nice because it gives you more flexibility in the field for any of the different operations that you might have in mind for this particular machine. Now we're ready to do the demo. First we're going to see what this machine can do with its MIG welding capability and then we're going to see what it can do with its stick welding capability. We got some nice plates all set up. We're going to build some T-joints and we're going to see what kind of results we get. Okay, so we got some really nice results. Our MIG welt T-joint came out really nice, nice and smooth, welded well. And then our arc weld came out really nice as well. We bumped it up to some fatter steel just to see what it could do. We tried it in the flat position on the front, and then we did some horizontal on the back. I'm Nicholas Baspley here with Canna Weld, again, uh, in Vaughan, Ontario. And I want to say stay safe and have fun welding. Thank you.